Hi, thanks for watching this video. This is uh, Master Zhou Ching. So today's video, we're going to talk about today's Ba Zi Superstar. Okay, and of course, the uh, main character here today is our superstar, Donnie Yen. And I'm going to uh, discuss with you what's in his Ba Zi to be a late bloomer. Alright, so moving forward, uh, I would like to actually uh, share more about a different superstar, different celebrity. It can be Hollywood, it can be from Singapore, from Hong Kong, from Taiwan. All right, and then we will look into their destiny chart to discuss something interesting. So Donnie Yen is, of course, one of my uh, you know favorite Hong Kong movie actor. I watch all his Hitman series, and almost ninety percent of all his uh, Hong Kong movie that he has uh, participated since the early uh, 80s and 90s, okay? So, let's move on. Um, as mentioned, Ip Man actually uh, came out uh, in 1984. Uh, you can read up on the Wikipedia. I have uh, watched his first movie actually and that was him during 1984, 1985, okay? And then uh, subsequently moving into the 90s, he also uh, acted in some <clears throat> interesting movie. But although they are not really uh, those uh, blockbuster, and most of the time he was playing a supporting role with uh, alongside with like Jet Li, uh, like Wong Fei Hong. I, I, I think he, he played a supporting role in Wong Fei Hong. And this is the Iron Monkey. I saw this movie also. And I saw this movie as well, but um, he wasn't that high profile during the 90s. Okay, subsequently going into the 2000s, uh, he, he participated in this show called Sa Po Lang, uh, which is very nice. Okay, Long Human, very nice. So, and uh, his big break came in 2008, of course. Uh, the movie Ip Man pushed his uh, career, uh, you know, even higher and there's a quantum leap in his uh, salary and income after this show and he became so famous that he went on to participate in uh, Rogue One the Star Wars uh, movie so uh, Donnie Yen Chen Zitan was born 27 July 1963 uh, if I'm not wrong he was born in the States then later on uh, he went over to Hong Kong and he was um, recommended um, I think by his mother or somebody just uh, talent spotted him and there he goes he started his uh, movie career in 1984 okay today it is said that he has a net worth of 40 million <coughs> so in um, 1995 uh, he also went on to uh, act in the television series Feast of Fury uh, he acted as the Chen Chen, you know, the main character. But uh, in the 90s, you see, he, although he has uh, done some uh, production, but it was never a box office success. Well, he was like um, neither here nor there. People know him, but he, was, he wasn't that famous compared to today, of course. So in fact, at age 34, 1997, he almost went bankrupt. Okay, he produced, he fund his own production company, he direct his own show, but he did not do well at the box office. So he was forced to borrow money from loan sharks and his for his production crew to get paid, basically. Then uh, he went back to US uh, because his um, mom and family uh, was stationed in US. Okay. He came from a martial art family. His mother was, uh, uh, I think, quite a well-known um, martial art instructor. So um, he was he was invited, of course, in the US to choreograph some of the fight scenes in Hollywood movies, like all this Endgame, Highlander, Blade. Well, from there onwards, um, he he kind of impressed the director there, but then he continued to be active in the Hong Kong cinema in the 2000s. So I, I you know, just done the movie like Sa Po Lang, Tao Huo Xian, so all these things. Okay, uh, he's quite good. 
especially when he tried to uh, be very innovative by combining some of the traditional Kung Fu with MMA. His big break came when he played the Wang Chun Grandmaster Yip Man in the 2008 movie. So, um, of course, I've watched it several times, in fact. I've actually watched all the other three installments as well. The Yip Man Part 4 was screened last year. Um, and, uh, you know, in 2008, that was his big break. Box office success and his salary income also quantum deep from then onwards. And uh, it was uh, said that in 2013, he actually made 28.4 million USD. Okay, from his contracts. In 2016, he went on to, uh, of course, just a supporting role to act in the Star Wars, the Rogue One, as well as the Return of Xander Cage. Now, so um, how much does he make today? So this one is based on 8days.sg. Eh? So uh, that was, I guess, a couple of years ago. He mentioned that he can earn as high as 100 million RMB, which is about 20 million per firm. And he did not deny the reports. So for Yip Man Part 4, it was also said that uh, he was paid 80 million RMB, or about 16 million Singapore dollar. Okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. Uh, surpassing, in fact, over here he mentioned surpassing uh, Jackie Chan to be the top uh, earner in Hong Kong. Question today is, <coughs> excuse me, what is in his path to become only successful from age 45? Because he's born 1963, in 2008 when he was 45, then he had his big first break, you know, his big break, all right, in his uh, career. Compared to other people like Jet Li, uh, Jackie Chan, um, you know, they actually became very, very famous in their 20s. 20-something, they are already uh, big big movie stars making millions of dollars. Alright, but what happened to him? So today we want to actually um, look into his parts and his last cycle, as well as the golden verse that actually appropriately, uh, uh, you know, very aptly described his... Uh, his journey, his big break. So that was him, okay, 1985. And that was him, of course, the, the, the more recent, uh, the more recent so-called image of Ip Man, of uh, Donnie Yen. So this, go this golden verse um, was actually uh, also mentioned in my uh, Pazi Golden Verse uh, online program. Under the uh, Luck Peeler uh, Golden Verse uh, video. So let me just uh, bring this up again. Of course, in our video, I was using other examples. But today, I would like to, uh, of course, uh, share this with you based on Donnie Yen's uh, destiny. So in Chinese, we say that 何之其人发又发, 身望应多行财运. What does this mean in English? It means that how do you know if someone keeps prospering? It is when the day master is strongly supported by resource star and going through wealth luck. So if you look at his part, so this is his part. Uh, you notice that in his part, he is supported by three indirect resource star. To me, in our teaching, this is considered as excessive, abundant. Very strong in his part. Okay, uh, I must say that the uh, the hour pillar here is based on uh, reverse engineering. I I must admit that I don't really know his exact uh, time of birth, but based on some past events, uh, I derived this hour pillar. Nevertheless, even without the hour pillar, we can tell that upfront there are actually three indirect resource star, abundant, excessive. Okay, so what happened is that um, according to the golden verse, if you have this excessive and abundant indirect resource star or resource star, direct one, you must go through wealth luck. Okay, once you go through wealth luck, you will be prospering. Okay, for 
the uh, the number of years that you are in the wealth luck cycle. So for him, it is a actually it's a very beautiful wealth luck cycle, and this type of uh, so called luck cycle I'll call it grade A luck cycle or grade A luck pillar. Well, because it is a smooth flow of qi, you see on top is wood below, so wood. And not only did he enjoy 10 years of good luck uh, or wealth luck cycle, but it is times two, 20 years, a smooth flow of qi. And therefore, since 1999, 2000 onwards, um, his reputation actually increased. He got more contracts, he got more uh, so-called uh, movies, participation, got more jobs, and his big break actually uh, came in 2008, which is in this luck cycle. Of course, he was, he already got a job offer to uh, act in the uh, Yip Man, part one, probably in 2007 or 2006, because he has to learn Wing Chun. Okay, this uh, so-called uh, particular system, okay, that is uh, synonymous with uh, you know Yip Man. You all right? So Donnie Yen has to play Grandmaster Yip Man, and Grandmaster Yip Man uh, was very famous because of his skill in Wing Chun, and of course, again, another person that make this thing uh, uh, very well known is Bruce Lee. Because Bruce Lee went to study from Yip Man. So, of course, uh, in one of the uh, Yip Man installment, Bruce Lee actually, I mean, the so-called Bruce, he actually showed, uh, you know, Bruce Lee when he was a child and Bruce Lee when he grew up, you know, um, the, the some of the, the stories was actually weaved into the movie. Okay? So, remember, you can also check your parts if you have abundant resource ta, especially indirect resource ta, because later on I'm going to share with you a bonus golden verse, okay, which is about indirect resource. You will see that when you go through wealth, luck, maybe you just need to go through five years. For the five years, it's good enough already. You will see a very so-called a good outcome. It will be your your best your best years of your life. If you can, of course, make use of it, prop make use of it properly. You can enjoy a meteorite rise and success in your career, like Donnie Yen. Okay. Well, but unfortunately, rewind a bit. At age 34, 1997, Yen Donnie Yen almost went bankrupt. Right? What happened? He formed his own uh, movie company. He produced his own movie. And if I'm not wrong, this was the movie that made him almost went bankrupt. The Legend of the Wolf. So what happened is that that was 1997 Ting Chou Year. Ting Chou Year uh, happened to be one of the year pillar inside this luck cycle, Chen. So he's a negative resource because he doesn't like resource star. In fact, during his younger age, he, at the 6 to 11, he also went through direct resource luck. And whenever you go through direct resource or resource luck, especially when they are negative, you, you tend to be sickly. He admitted that in one of his uh, interviews. Okay, uh, in Hong Kong, he got this interview by uh, one of the famous China lady. Okay, I think it's called, um, I mean, in Chinese, they call it Ru Yu Yu Ye, uh, with this lady called Ru Yu. So he mentioned to her that he was very sickly. And therefore, I think because of that, the mother sent him to learn martial art since young. Uh, if I'm not wrong, he was also um, a classmate or a junior of Jet Li. Okay, because the mother sent him to one of the China uh, martial art school where Jet Li was from. So in 1997, what happened is that, can you see that there's a, there's a fan ying? Fan ying means tian ke ti chong, means on top there's a counter ring. Like this thing fire will counter the sink metal. And at the branch level, chou wei. Okay, the, this is actually the ox and this is the goat will form a clash. This is the direct clash. So this is very serious. So this is also mentioned in my uh, Lux Cycle Golden Verse video. 
Okay, in fact, we will talk about funding, fooling into your chart, funding, fooling into your luck cycle, what are the consequences, how bad is it, you know, I will show you real case study. So for him, in fact, this is a, a, a real case, there's a funding and therefore he almost went into bankrupt. Okay. Now. As promised, I will, sh I will share with you a, uh, golden, a bonus golden verse on indirect resource. There's a saying, 偏硬过甚少难儿,岁运从欲大势力,财星压制方为极,比劫也脱卸也为宜. Uh, I must really thank all our you know, the ba zi, ancient Ba Zi masters for having, you know, uh, you know, they came out with all these golden verses put them into the classics and when I learn from um, typical uh, older Chinese or traditional Chinese master from Taiwan they like to recite this type of mantra and it is extremely useful because if you know some of this mantra this golden verse okay straight away when a chap is put right in front of you you know what is the issue in fact I received so many good feedback um, from uh, people that has enrolled into our Golden Versus uh, courses, you know, that they say that they found a lot of answer that wasn't being answered when they attend other schools or parts of the course. Okay, so um, if you want, you can really go and enroll in it. You will know that this type of Golden Versus, they are extracted from very good classic. In fact, I filter through a lot of them. There are hundreds of them, but of course, not every single one of them are useful to you or useful to me I actually select them okay the one that one look at it you actually uh, break the destiny code in English it means that when you have two excessive indirect resource star you will become a failure when you go through indirect resource luck or direct resource luck okay only when well stars come and suppress them because don't forget in the five element uh, interaction cycle, well star actually counter resource star. Okay. And when you are strong chart, when you have abundance of this resource star, you like to be counted or they like to be counted. So it will turn auspicious. Otherwise, according to the uh, mantra here, the golden verse here, it says that the arrival of friend and Rockwell star can also help to exhaust the direct resource or indirect resource star. Okay, but my first choice is wealth star. Alright. So with this, uh, I will just um, like to just sum it up. Okay. Um, the topic, of course, for today is uh, about Donnie Yen. Alright. Uh, what happened to his chart is that uh, if you look back at his chart, uh, to me, his chart belong in our school. We determine his chart as a strong chart, but his uh, authority star is no good. Um, I will not explain here because I will leave it to the uh, Barzi Semi Pro program in Singapore. Then I'll explain that because we say that authority star is a double-headed snake. Okay. Oh, so there's a saying lah. Uh, 关鬼嘛, 两头蛇, 关, 关杀, 两头蛇, okay. And um, for him, uh, his big break came in 2008. Okay, that was when he was into his uh, uh, wealth luck cycle. And he, of course, from then onwards, he keep on receiving a lot. He keep on, you know, um, having a lot of contracts. Every year without fail, he acted in two or three movies. And his salary income also quantum did by at least, I, I guess... 20, 30 times compared to uh, the previous movies. Okay. And of course, right now, his, uh, his wealth luck is aspiring. He will be going into his uh, water luck, output luck, which is also good for him. Okay. So, <coughs> okay. If you are interested in our Parts Golden Versus program, we have uh, actually launched... Uh, quite a few of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. In fact, uh, we have um, the latest one being the, the Bazi Golden Verse uh, of luck, on Luck Pillar. 
you can go and check it out in this website. Uh, besides Ba Zi Golden Versus, we also uh, launched some Feng Shui uh, program online. Okay, so this is the website. This is the latest one, Ba Zi Golden Versus on Lux Cycles Prediction. Um, if you are keen, go to the website and, and check it out. Okay, so these are the Golden Versus that uh, will be discussed. Take a look. Okay, the last one is very interesting. When Wealth Luck enters, or when Wealth Star enters the vault, say you don't have a, a money star, it enters into your vault. What is the vault? You can uh, check it out in this uh, program. Clash by Luck Cycle, you get rich. Okay, and so many of them. Very, very interesting. Okay, finding fooling as mentioned. What happened if you got 6 kin enter graveyard? 3 punishment, meet with clash. So all this will help to um, enlighten you, you know. Okay, by looking at all these uh, classical golden verse, you are able to probably, you know, come to a, a stage that you realize that, wow, by knowing all this, it helps you to um, solve a lot of your uh, challenges, you know, when you are learning your parts. Okay, so these are actually add-on to what you are learning. Um, it will not so-called compromise on, let's say you are already taking up a parcel course, all this will add on only, okay? To support you, to help you in um, having a spot-on analysis, put it this way, okay? So this video talks about the luck cycle, as well as annual luck. This is about the well vaults, all billions air have this in their parcel, um... I also discussed many, many uh, politicians and celebrities parts, like all of this, you see. Uh, looking at their luck cycle, why some of them actually, um, you know, fail? Why some of them, uh, you know, rise to become the first lady president? And what about him this year? You know, they are going to have uh, Donald Trump as well as Joe Biden. They are going for the this year election. I also would discuss about the luck cycle this year. And so many of them. Uh, not exhaustive, okay? And this is the, the main website. Yeah, this is the one I'm talking about. Okay, before we increase the price further, because these are the uh, inaugural uh, launch fee, so please quickly go in and enjoy the uh, promotional fee, 168 USD, okay? Once again, this is the website. And uh, if you want to uh, join me, um, find out sometimes uh, feng shui tips, face reading tips, qimen tips, you can come to my Facebook, Master Jo Ching. Or you can visit our website or email us if you have any question. Alright? You can also post your question in this uh, comment box. You know, subscribe to our YouTube. And uh, thank you very much for watching this. Alright, have a good day.